Now, when I want to create the activity, where I create the activity, I create the activity always inside my SRC folder in this package. So I just say right click new class. I'll just give this class name like second activity and I want to extend in this activity what? I'll just say finish. Now inside this activity as I want to make this class as an activity I want to extend the activity class so I'll use the extends keyword and activity class. So I just extended the activity class now I want to use I want to use few of the methods like onCreate. So I just go to source, I'll override or implement the methods, click on this and then I will come to onCreate method. I will search for onCreate method. I've got the onCreate method, I'll check it, I'll take it to my code. Now here I have to set the content view which will relate this Java class or this activity to my XML layout, the user interface. So I'll use the method which is named as set content view. And I will pass here the layout. So activity second, I want to put it as a UI for this screen. I simply close it with a semicolon. And now what I want to do is I want to create another object of the edit text here. Now which edit text I am going to create? The second one in which we want to show the data. Now simply you create our object again here. You can create the object as edit text second. Now coming to this edit text second. Edit text r dot id dot edit text. This is how you create the object. You put the data inside it. Now, once this is done, now you have to do another part. That is, you want to get the data from other activity with the help of intent. So first, now our activity is ready to accept the data. Now we have to send the data from other part. Okay? So let's just save this activity. Now, we are going to do a very important step here. I have added second activity. The concept which we explained when I was explaining the concept of Android manifest file, we have explained that the number of activities you are going to use as many as you have to list them down in the Android manifest file. If you have not listed them down, then you will not be able to use it. So first thing I need to do is I have to go inside the Android manifest file and I have to add that particular activity. So for adding the activity what I have to do is I'll just come simply here I'll say add in the application under the application tab. Once you open the Android Manifest file by default this window will be open for you. Now you have to go to the application tab you will see this window. Now you have to click on add you will see activity activity alias etc etc. You have to click on activity and then you have to select it. Now the moment you do this, select on the activity and you have to pass the name. Now instead of right away passing you can browse. The browse will allow you to show which all classes in your project extends activity. So main activity is one class, second activity is another. But main activity is already listed. So I am interested into second activity. I will select it and I will say OK. It will come for me. I will come back here and I will save it. Control save. The moment I will save it, now my Android manifest file has registered both the activities with it. That is the second activity, it is registered and the activity which is main activity also it is registered. Now let's come back to our Java Pro code. In my first activity which I have created, we are ready with the string. We kept the string inside the bundle. Now the part is to keep the bundle inside the intent. Now, let's create an intent. So I just simply create an intent. As intent is a class, I'll create its object. So let's say intent object I have created. 
now when i create a intent object i'll get multiple constructors for it i am interested into a constructor which will take two parameters this constructor will take two parameters first parameter it will take that is the context in which from which particular class you are trying to instantiate the other activity and second parameter it is taking the class name the particular class name which you want to instantiate so i'll take this parameter i'll pass in the first parameter the context so i'll pass the context as this because within the same package i am passing the data the second i am going to do is i am going to put the name here the name is second activity dot class that's it now my intent is ready inside my intent what i want to do now inside my intent i want to put bundle now so i'll just say intent dot put extra intent has always three parts first is action second is category third is data what you want to do with this intent is the action you attach to it that is the action view second is category what is the category category could be default or launcher the third part comes as extras the data or anything else if you want to send with the help of the intent to other components so here i want to send data to the uh, other component that is the extra parameter so i'll just say put extra use the put extra parameter and there is a method which takes put extra as a bundle as a parameter i'll select this one i'll pass the bundle object inside it and i'll put a semicolon now my intent is ready bundle has kept inside the intent the task is to start other activity now i'll come down and i will use a method which is named as start activity start activity is a method which takes parameter as a intent and it starts the particular activity you want to start okay i just got a question the question is which value will get passed into this here uh nikita this question do you want to ask that the the one which this i have passed in intent part the this part is actually explaining the context of this intent that the intent is associated with this class within this context of this class so that's why i have written there as a this this is a keyword of java which refers to the current context and our current context is this class is it clear now nikita okay now we got another clarification from nikita nikita say that uh, in the intent part in put extras you say we give uh, key and value in the put extra nikita we gave the bundle actually the bundle object which we are giving the bundle object has a key value pair inside it now we are putting this bundle inside the intent and we are trying to send the entire intent itself to other activity now other activity will extract the data there and there you will see how we will use a key to extract the data is it clear for you mitali do you have any uh, question anyone has any question yes you mentioned that the current class you can you okay i just got a clarification from nikita saying that we can use either ways either ways is just only that you have to put the data inside the bundle and then finally you have to put bundle inside the intent and then intent you just put inside the start activity uh, method which will start other activity okay cool now let's do it we have already set the intent and everything now on the other class we try to extract data so let's come to other class where we want to show this now what do we want to do is okay we have got one more question yes do please do ask okay intent dot put extra the value and the key without using bundle is this right yes nikita it is also one of the way to do it it is also right correct okay clear now let's let's move it 
So on the other activity, what I am trying to do here is I am trying to access the value. So I will extract the value from the intent. I will include here the on resume method. So I'll include the on resume method. I'll just use on resume method. Okay, I just got a question from Mithal. Mithal says I am unable to find all the resources from the Ayurveda. So could you please help? What resources, Mithali, you are missing? Guys, whenever you are stuck up in anything, you can definitely anytime give a call to our HR or any reference person over here or on the support ID. They will assist you from top to bottom in everything. So you will be able to establish the environment or at any point of time like if you are stuck up in any kind of API use or class use or something wrong with the code or error you are getting, you can definitely get in touch with our guys at any point of time. They are available 24-7 to assist you with. Uh, and at the same time also if you do have a number of questions, practice it out and you can ask to the to us also at the same time. Mitali, are you clear with this? Do you have any more, I mean, what, what resources you are trying to say you are missing? Okay. Now, let's go ahead with our explanation. The on resume method I have included here. Now, what I am trying to do is from that bundle, I am trying to extract the data at this part. So, let's quickly create a bundle because through bundle only I am going to get the data. So, I'll create, so I'll create a bundle object. Let's say I have created a bundle B as object. Now in this B, I want to get the data from the intent which is coming to this class. So I'll say get intent is one method which will return me the intent which is coming to this class. And I want to extract the extras from that intent. So I'll use the get extras method. That's it. Now my bundle is ready. From this bundle, I will take out the data. So I'll just use like First I will check the bundle should not be null to make sure that my application should not cr crash. So it's a good practice. So I'll just say that bundle should not equal to null. Then in this case I want to extract the data. So I'll just simply extract it like in the string variable or uh, right away from the bundle itself I'll do like edit text which I have declared on the top dot set text. Now in this the value I'm going to put is like accessing from the bundle so I'll use the bundle object dot get a string. In this get a string I have to pass the key. The key which I will pass here is the one which I have put in my earlier class. So which key I have used? Edit underscore value. I have to use the same key and I have to pass it here to access the same data. Now that's it. I have passed it. It will set text will become this. <clears throat> I can have an else part at the same time. If it doesn't, if it comes as null, then do one thing. You can simply put any other text inside this edit text for that matter. So if I can just simply put like data not available. If in any case if data is not coming. I just save it and I try to run the example. I'll just click on the code, right click, run as Android applications.